Well, I've decided to do another large scale review and today we'll be looking at three tankers from Bachman's large scale Thomas and Friends line. Now, two of these came from Train World. I actually showed them in an unboxing video I did back in December and one of them was actually a Christmas gift from Charlie over in Oregon. And since I was already doing a review on the two tankers I got previously, figured I'd go ahead and throw that one in the mix and just do three of them. So let's get into it. One thing I wanted to mention before I took these models out of the boxes is that there's quite a few years between when these came out because the milk tanker was released back in 2010. So that's been over a decade ago. And the raspberry syrup tanker came out a few years later in 2013. And then the toffee tanker is the newest being released back in 2018. And because of that, the times these came out, their boxes are slightly different. If you look at the uh, milk tankers box here, you can see how it looks. And if we just turn it around to the back, you can see there wasn't much in Bachman's large scale Thomas and Friends line back in 2010. But if I bring in the raspberry syrup tanker here, you can see again, pretty much the same style box as we had before. And if we go around to the back, there was a lot more models available in uh, 2013. And if I bring in the toffee tanker, which again, this is the newest one, you can see that the box artwork has changed. And if we turn it around to the back here, uh, yeah, quite a few more models available in 2018. So I'm gonna get all the models out of the boxes now and probably speed things up a bit. So here are the models out of their boxes and each one comes with a little bag of parts and some paperwork. And in regards to the Tidmouth milk tanker, you get a coupon for a Bachman Trains 2010 catalog. The raspberry syrup tanker has one for a 2013 catalog and the toffee tanker has one for what appears to just be a Bachman Trains catalog, no specific year. And I'm still curious, especially with this one, what would happen if you were to send one of these in today. But the models also come with an instruction sheet which has information on changing polarity of locomotives, which doesn't make much sense considering this is rolling stock. But there's also instructions on changing out couplers and lowering couplers. And like I said before, the models also come with a bag of parts. But one of these models I found to have issues with the supplied parts bag. I've got two parts bags here and the one on the left came with the raspberry syrup tanker and the one on the right came with the toffee tanker. Can you see the problem yet? I'll just bring this one in a little closer. Look at the contents in the bag. Now we'll look at the one that came with the toffee tanker again looking at the contents inside. Can you see the problem now? The parts that came with the raspberry syrup tanker include an extra set of the high coupler position pieces instead of the low coupler extension pieces. So somewhere there's been a mispackage. So if the model was packaged correctly, these are the extra bits you should receive. And you get a spare coupler as well as the centering spring and mounting screw for the coupler. And there's also two lowering blocks. Now these are for if you want to lower the couplers to work with other large scale stock you may have. And you also get the mounting screws for those. But I'm not exactly sure what to do with this bag that came with the raspberry syrup tanker. I don't think I've got any extra lowering blocks to replace these. So I may have to get in contact with Bachman and have them supply me with some. It's a bit odd, this is the second packaging error like this I've come across in the last uh, couple years now. 
Moving on to the rolling stock, the first one we'll look at is the Tidmouth Milk Tanker, as they call it, which I really don't see any identification to show that this is a Tidmouth Milk Tanker and not just a normal milk tanker, being that we've only got the CGI logo and the word Tidmouth is completely absent. But that's understandable because Blockman started their large-scale Thomas & Friends line right at the time the series was transitioning over to CGI, so I don't think this is too much of a big deal myself. But you can see that this wagon has pretty much the same detail that all the other wagons in the range do because they essentially use the same chassis. You've got the same buffer and hook details underneath. You've got the brake gear, brake shoes, axle boxes, leaf springs. And the tank body is quite impressive because you've got rivet details all around. You've got banding and bracing on the uh, tanker body. And uh, something that I do notice is that we don't have these bands here not painted. And I'm not exactly sure why Blockman doesn't paint these on some rolling stock and does paint them on others because you can see the toffee tanker and the raspberry syrup tanker have these bands painted. But I mean, I think that would add to the amount of detail if these were painted, but I don't know. Going up top, you've also got the filler cap here. And last thing would be the CGI logo. Now, I know some people don't care for this, but I mean, I think it looks all right, except for the fact I'm yet to see a blue cow in real life. Uh, that'd be my only complaint. And I mean, that's just, you know, me being funny. But I mean, overall, this doesn't look too bad. But again, they call it a Tidmouth milk tanker, and I don't see any identification to, you know, show that this is actually a Tidmouth milk tanker, not just a normal one. Unlike what uh, came before here, I've just got a... Uh, Tidmouth milk tanker from another range and you can see that you used to have Tidmouth milk on the side But uh, you know now we've just moved to photos for whatever reason besides the fact kids these days don't want to read The next one here is the raspberry syrup tanker and I really can't say too much about this because it's pretty much just the same wagon as the milk tanker just different uh, paint scheme and what have you but I do find it a little odd we've actually got the CGI logo on the raspberry syrup tanker when this piece of rolling stock itself didn't even appear in the CGI series. Uh, whatever reason that is, I don't know. Uh, I also noticed that Blockman gave this sort of like a, a graphite gray chassis compared to like the black chassis they put on the milk tanker. Uh, I don't think I've seen this on any other wagon. But last thing is, you know, we do have the bands here, the vertical bands as I call them, are actually painted on this piece of rolling stock. And I, I still think that makes the model look better if you just add that little bit of detail. And the last piece of rolling stock is the toffee tanker here. And like I mentioned in my Train World unboxing, this was one of three mediocre tanker recolors that Bachman did back in 2018. And I mean, large scale had pretty much been getting the short end of the stick since 2015 with a number of disappointing announcements and what few good announcements we did have weren't really anything to get too excited about. But I know a lot of people were disappointed when we got these tankers back in 2018 and I was the same way myself, but out of the three of them, the one that appealed to me the most was the toffee tanker. And that's because, you know, they call this a toffee tanker, but realistically it can be anything you want it to be. I mean, if I just make one quick cosmetic change here, there you go, now it's a radioactive waste tanker. So yeah, these are three great pieces of rolling stock, all which have varying degrees of appeal, but overall, I think they look good. Now these tankers, despite all being the same tooling, all came with different price tags. And as I mentioned before, I purchased the raspberry syrup tanker and the toffee tanker from Train World, and the Tidmouth milk tanker was a Christmas gift from Charlie over in Oregon, and he got this from Trains.com. But from memory, I paid $58 for the raspberry syrup tanker and $60 for the toffee tanker from Train World, so $2 difference there. And the Tidmouth milk tanker, Charlie got this for $24 from Trains.com. And that probably seems like a really good deal for a piece of large-scale rolling stock like this. But something I think has to do with the price difference on these models may have to do with how new they are. Because the toffee tanker only came out a couple years ago in 2018, whereas the raspberry syrup tanker was discontinued back in 2017, and the Tidmouth milk tanker in 2014. So... 
I mean, it may have to do with retailers possibly marking their prices down a little bit to clear out old stock, which it does seem like that in the case of the Tidmouth milk tanker, but the raspberry syrup tanker, not so much. $2 difference doesn't seem like much of a discount. But I mean, uh, Train World does still have both of these pieces of rolling stock in stock if you want to head over there and maybe get some of these for yourself. And uh, the Tidmouth milk tanker, you're probably going to have to shop around because like I said, this has been discontinued for quite a few years now and it's kind of scarce. So in all, I think these tankers look pretty good, and I think they'd make a great addition to any large-scale railroad. I definitely recommend if you can find one to pick up a Tidmouth milk tanker, because this is a classic piece of rolling stock, and I don't exactly know why Bachman discontinued it only a few years after they came out with it. But as for the raspberry syrup tanker and the toffee tanker, well, I guess it's up to the individual on these two. I mean, personally, I like them. That's why I got them. But to some people, they just don't care for this kind of rolling stock on their railroad. But I think all three tankers, if you can find them, and for a good price, uh, I wouldn't pass them up myself. But yeah, so that's going to conclude this review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll catch you guys on the next one.